Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see from my messy room behind me, I'm back in my parents' place, at least just for the weekend. Just for the weekend. I'm just here for work. I'll be back up in my college place uh, on Monday in time for classes, okay? So, uh, <clears throat> before we get to the normal Sunday weekly vlog stuff, like what movies I'm watching, what music I'm listening to, what video games I'm playing, I gotta talk to you about these articles. Because this past week has just been intense, man. People were posting about this on Facebook. Every time the news was turned on, they were talking about it. I was getting alerts on my phone and all that. It was just been crazy this past week because of these two stories, okay? Well, one in particular. But the other is just as shocking. This past week, there have been two child murders, as far as I know. And there's just some sick people out there, okay? Freaks. Um, first story that I heard about was about a father in Louisiana. He was 30 years old. He had a 7-year-old boy, a 7-year-old son, right? This mother effer laid out his son on the kitchen sink and chopped him into little pieces. Okay? Seven-year-old boy. Threw the, the pieces in front of the front yard. Mom came home. She freaked out. She called the police. Dude's right now in jail on a $5 million bond. What the F is going on in this world? Okay? I don't know what's going on. And then uh, the other story is even more intense because, you know, it, it was kind of closer to home, you know? You know what I mean? Um, so, in Missouri... Next state over, okay, there was this 10-year-old girl, she got kidnapped, okay, snatched up in front of her neighbor's house. And the dude was apparently, the dude who kidnapped her was apparently a coach, you know, he was a teacher. Drove up in his truck, snatched her up, and I can't imagine what the parents went through for, the, for that, all, all, that whole night, okay? So I was getting alerts on my phone, it was saying, if you see a, a truck with this um, license plate, please call the police right away, stuff like that, right? It was just crazy, and... It's utter chaos on my Facebook. People were posting about it. Uh, everyone knew what was going on, okay? Next morning, woke up to some really shocking, sad news, okay? Um, they got the dude in custody. They found his truck. They also found the body of the girl. He killed her, okay? Sad. I was driven to tears. I, my heart broke as I was reading these articles, okay? And... The whole reason why I'm talking about this, I just want to give you, the family and friends of the victims, my prayers, my thoughts, okay? I can't imagine what you guys are going through right now. And to the murderers, I hope you, get, I hope you guys get what you deserve, okay? Whether it's this knife or the next, I hope you get what you deserve. So I just wanted to mention that, because it's just been other chaos this past week. I just want to say something like that. So anyway, yeah, sick mother effing freaks out there. Can't even think right now. <laughs> um, okay, so let's, let's, just go, let's just go ahead back to the, the normal stuff okay, that we're supposed to be talking about this week. Um, <clears throat> movies I've watched, because of all this, this ridiculousness in the past week, I didn't even watch any movies. They watched some TV shows, pop in some DVDs, and watch some old reruns and stuff like that, but that's, I didn't really watch anything, okay? Um, I did go out to um, get some food and stuff like that, and I bought some CDs. So, they're all old CDs, but uh, they're really good stuff. So, if you haven't heard them, definitely buy them for yourself, because they're very cheap now, okay? Liana Lewis, Spirit, definitely get that CD. Track 5, especially, is really catchy. Um, besides the other ones that you've already heard on the radio and stuff like that. I mean, uh, yeah. So, next one I got was Isley, Room Noises, or Noisy Room, or something like that. Um, I got, I downloaded that album a long time ago, and, you know, I saw the CD for a very low price, went ahead and got that. Um, Katy Perry, Teenage Dream, I got the Deluxe Edition, I saw the Deluxe Edition, which is, uh, kind of rare, but, but, uh, the fact that I saw it for, for the price that it was, I went ahead and got that. It was missing, like, the outside slipcover, but the CD's still there, you know, all the tracks are there, so, whatever. Uh, so I got that CD, and finally I got Duchess, Fergie, okay? Which, out of all of them, is my favorite so far. It has some really catchy songs. I was just dancing to it in the car and stuff like that. Uh, really enjoyed that, that CD. Okay, <clears throat> So those are just the new music that I bought this week. Um, comic books. Uh, I did do a comic book haul. You can go to that comic book haul. Uh, I picked up Harley Quinn this week. I picked up Smallville. Okay, um, One person on my, uh, on my YouTube did... I, I don't remember who you are... Um, but you ask, like, if, you, if you, I want to get into comic books and I want to know what series to start on and stuff like that. If you have to start on something, now, I'm a bit, I'm more of a DC guy, okay? 
Marvel Comics is a more fun, more easier to read comic than the DC Comics, okay? So if you have to start on anything, pick up a uh, Marvel Comics, okay? Any of the Marvel Comics. Also, even though you pick up Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog or Archie or something, uh, each of those issues are pretty much ones, you know, it doesn't really continue with the story. If you pick up any comic book in the Marvel or DC Universe, okay? Um, you're pretty much starting in the middle of a story, you know, like the, each issue continues on from the last story, okay? Um, but yeah, pretty much, uh, I would suggest if you want to read something, read Spider-Man or, you know, X-Men or, you know, Thor or something like that, you know, Iron Man's pretty fun. Um, the Wolverine comics are pretty fun too. Deadpool is definitely, if you really enjoy, like, humor along with your action and adventure, read Deadpool comics. Um... But besides that, you know, pick up Superman if you like Superman. Pick up Batman if you like Batman, okay? Um, video games I'm playing this past week. I give up on Payday 2. I gave up on Payday 2 because no one is helping me with that game. I played it and I actually got like 16 trophies by myself, okay? But every time I ask other people to help me with trophies, they don't help me. There's one, the, the, one of the jewelry store uh, uh, trophies requires you just to... Play it, you can finish the level in 40 seconds. I'll tell you right now, you can finish that level, the jewelry store level, in just four, like just a minute, okay? Um, but no one wants to do that with me. They, every time the I, I read the uh, PlayStation Trophies website, okay? They give you the specific criteria to finish the level in a minute, right? I give, I tell people you have to do this, you have to do this. One, so one person needs to do this, one person needs to do this, and then stuff like that. They would not listen to me. The moment the, the mission starts, no one's putting on their mask. This guy over here is shooting up all the civilians. This guy over here is just drilling into the safe. Just wasting my time, okay? So, yeah, I gave up on Payday 2 because no one helped me. Uh, it was just a frustrating game. Like, people are always sending me invites to play their games, but when I send, when I need help, no one would help me, okay? But, yeah, if you guys want to make me play multiplayer on... on Call of Duty Ghost or something. Of course I'll do it. And then you're all happy and stuff. And when I want some something, you know, you guys never do it. Like, oh, whatever. So whatever. Okay. I mean, I know I haven't been available either, but I'm I'm a busy person myself, you know. So yeah, another new game on PlayStation Plus is Remember Me, which I'm really enjoying so far. Probably one of my favorite games that I have downloaded since I got my PlayStation Plus subscription. Okay. It's kind of like a mix between Tomb Raider, Uncharted, and Batman Arkham series, okay? Just the way the combat system goes and stuff like that. And you're always climbing on things and stuff like that. So it's pretty similar to Uncharted and Tomb Raider. Uh, but you also fight and you fight hand-to-hand -hand combat and stuff like that, just like you did in Batman, okay? I'm really enjoying that game. I was actually this close to buying it, you know? I was at GameStop. I was going to buy it. It was like only 20 bucks, And then I was I hesitated and went ahead and just leave. Log in the PS, uh, the PlayStation Store that night, and there it was, free for PlayStation Plus, Plus subscribers. Okay, now I only have like a couple days left before my PlayStation Plus subscription is over. Okay, and I'm not going to renew it. I'm just going to leave right there, and uh, I may have to actually buy the game if I don't finish it in time. Okay, I mean I haven't really gotten that far. I read online it's, gonna, it's a 10-hour game, and I'm only play like what two, three hours so far at the time of this video. So, yeah. So that's pretty much it. I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah. So, that's it for the week. Thank you for watching, people. Rate, favorite, subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.